Hey guys, welcome back to the Buzz Weaver channel. And uh, as a topic for today, I found this kind of interesting and amusing because, of course, uh, as I like to say across social media, when I see all of the uh, Kamala HQ stuff and all the other individual supporters of Kamala Harris, and that is that it only took the establishment uniparty 14 days to talk Joe Biden out of continuing the race. And uh, I'm pretty sure that the conversation went something like this. Joe, we need you to step aside or else we'll destroy you like we're destroying Donald Trump. And so uh, I find it interesting here. We have this parody on Mr. Reagan. And I think it's more truthful than what you would ever hear from the mainstream media. I, Kamal Harris, am your Democrat candidate for president because Joe Biden finally exposed his senility at the debate. Thanks, Joe. I was selected because I am the ultimate diversity hire. I'm both a woman and a person of color. So if you criticize anything I say, you're both sexist and racist. I may not know the first thing about running the country, but remember, that's a good thing if you're a deep state puppet. I had four years under the tutelage of the ultimate deep state puppet, a wonderful mentor, Joe Biden. Joe taught me rule number one, carefully hide your total incompetence. I take in significant things and I discuss them as if they're significant. And I believe that exploring the significance of the insignificant is in itself significant. Talking about the significance of the passage of time, right? The significance of the passage of time. So when you think about it, there is great significance to the passage of time, and there is such great significance to the passage of time. Another trick is trying to sound black. I pretend to celebrate Kwanzaa, and in my speeches, I always do my best Barack Obama impression. So hear me when I say, I know Donald Trump's type. And okay, look, maybe my work addressing the root causes of the border crisis were catastrophic, but my knowledge of international politics is truly shocking. The United States shares a very important relationship, which is an alliance with the Republic of North Korea. It is an alliance that is strong and enduring. And just remember, when voting this November, it is important to see what can be unburdened by what has been. And by what has been, I mean, Joe Biden. Do you think the country went to sh over the past four years? You ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> Gillette. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I would have to agree with uh, most everything that was said there, considering that uh, when you do just some simple observation, we can clearly see that the intent in 2020 by the establishment uniparty was to ensure that Donald Trump did not win so that they could recoup their position of power that Trump was trying to deal with. Now, he tried to compromise with the establishment uniparty, and that didn't work out at all. And so I think Trump has learned his lessons, and this is why he's going to be probably even more aggressive towards the establishment uniparty. And as you can see, as we've covered here on the Buzz Weaver channel, the level of persecution, lawfare, smear tactics, and media spread of orange man bad that we see daily and of course here on social media across most of all social media but i'm glad that elon musk is um is running twitter because uh donald trump probably still wouldn't even be on here <laughs> even running as a candidate they probably still wouldn't have him on here uh, among other individuals that they intentionally and willfully banned from uh from social media just on the uh, on the direction of the government, of the administration. And we have demonstrated that many times over here on the Buzz Weaver channel from the Department of Homeland Security, FBI, and others that had dashboards to Twitter. But it's absolutely extraordinary. But I do welcome your thoughts and comments down below. How accurate do you think the parody was? I think it was spot on, pretty much uh, what we have always discussed here. So nothing surprising there, but I did want to share it with you because I thought it was kind of amusing and very telling. Now, of course, it is parody. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of basis of reality within comedy. That's what kind of makes it funny. But uh, that's certainly what I have for you guys today. But I do want to thank all you guys across New Tech, as well as all of you guys on BitChute, Rumble, and Odyssey. And, of course, everywhere, everyone here on YouTube for your guys' continued support. Below this video, you can find the various social media links that I belong to, to include Twitter, as you see here. 
Uh, but I would appreciate you guys giving me follows on there. And, of course, if you are an Amazon Prime member and order frequently and or order frequently from Amazon, uh, my links are down below. That does help out the channel. But you can help out the channel by liking and subscribing, of course, which I truly appreciate, as well as commenting. And, of course, if you're interested in a VPN, Trust Zone is there as well. Those things help out the channel. But nonetheless, guys, that's what I have for you guys today. And I will see all of you in the next video.